Hello, everyone. Welcome to this GTC 21 on-demand session on Rugged AI, jointly presented by Systel and NVIDIA. My name is Anish Katari. I'm Vice President of Marketing for Systel. Systel is a leading manufacturer of rugged computing products and solutions with over 30 years of experience in providing advanced computer technologies, purpose-built for mission success to defense, oil and gas, and manufacturing enterprises worldwide. I'm very, very pleased to be joined today by John Stressing, Senior Account Manager for NVIDIA. And together, we're going to be talking about rugged AI edge computing solutions and the critical role they play in supporting next generation defense requirements and applications and, and really enabling those next gen AI capabilities. So we're going to spend some time today discussing the benefits and challenges associated with edge deployed AI provide an overview of NVIDIA's arsenal of edge AI technology, talk through some ruggedization and other key considerations for edge deployed AI, and we'll conclude by presenting some example use cases, uh, really trying to tie some of these themes together. So let's start by talking about the promise of edge deployed AI. As vehicles and platforms and soldiers uh, become more and more densely censored, the amount of data being presented to the warfighter at any given time is overwhelming. AI takes the burden off the operator, uh, moves past the limits of human capacities for these mission critical data processing workloads. The application possibilities are of course immense. So whether that's uh, optionally manned or unmanned platforms, so think robotic combat vehicles, robotic wingmen, unmanned underwater, uh, underwater vessels, maybe it's cyber defense, electronic warfare, uh, facial recognition, as John is going to uh, touch on here shortly, target detection and recognition, counter UAS, predictive maintenance, really the areas where AI can accelerate and enhance capabilities, is, uh, it's incredible. Building on this data rich foundation is the DOD's concept of joint all domain command and control or JADC2, where uh, the ability to achieve decision dominance is predicated on harnessing the power of machines and employing AI machine learning neural network uh, type capabilities. So the concept is a unified network so you can achieve uh, this idea of any sensor, any shooter. Uh, but the only way this really works is if you have strong local networks where you can conduct as much of your AI processing at the edge. Uh, you know, and so as General Murray says here in this quote, we won't have wide open pipes to push data in, uh, in contested environments with restricted bandwidth. So, so how do you succeed? What do you do? And this is where AI computing at the edge comes into play. So what exactly are some of the benefits of computing at the edge? Well, for one, reliability. In a contested or degraded environment, you simply can't count on a cloud-based or large network-based AI solution. The computing has to be done on-premise to ensure maximum uptime. And we're gonna talk a little bit later about how, um, how ruggedization plays such a key role in this idea of reliability. Another big, big factor is latency. Low latency is vital. So uh, let's take a combat vehicle application such as hostile fire detection. It's naturally in that instance, an imperative to rapidly identify and track an incoming signature. So real time speed is required. And the only way to achieve that is through edge computing. Another one is bandwidth. Using the spectrum more efficiently and effectively by decreasing network load is critical, especially in a contested, restricted bandwidth environment. Data consumption, running your processing and inferencing locally decreases high bandwidth load while increasing response time. So we've talked about the benefits. Now, what about some of the challenges we face? You know, when you take data center AI performance and capability 
and successfully integrate it into an edge computing system that's extremely, extremely challenging. Running AI and, uh, and machine learning workloads at the edge requires high performance computing. This uses significant processing and memory resources. So this can certainly have cost implications as well as cooling implications, uh, thermal management implications, high performance electronics or high wattage. Managing the thermals of your system in extreme conditions, is, it's a really big challenge. Uh, and related is the overall environmental conditions. Deployed hardware is subject to the most austere environments on the planet, and it has to be ruggedized accordingly to survive. So that is another major challenge. Another challenge is managing your system swap, size, weight, and power. Uh, space claims, power budgets, uh, these can be very tight in enduring platforms, which may not have been originally built with these types of mission sets or workloads in mind. Next-gen platforms are increasingly becoming more uh, consolidated, smaller, you know, especially when you start talking about autonomous vehicles. Unmanned autonomous vehicles additionally can range further than manned platforms, so they will be subject to harsher environments, uh, which you have to account for. Hardware suppliers like Systel have to be extremely innovative in design and manufacturing to successfully manage this fundamental push-pull between integrating higher and higher performance electronics that have correspondingly higher and higher wattages into more and more swap optimized hardware packages in order to meet end user requirements. So we've talked about the benefits and challenges of AI computing at the edge. And at this point, I'd like to turn it over to John Stressing, who is going to discuss NVIDIA's incredible technology which really makes all of this AI goodness possible. John? Thanks, Anish. And thanks for presenting your edge solutions here at GCC. These are especially important for a lot of my DoD customers. You know, <clears throat> the GPU was initially used to stimulate human imagination, enabling the virtual worlds of video games and films. Today, it also stimulates human intelligence, enabling a deeper understanding of the physical world. Its parallel processing capabilities supported by up to thousands of computing cores are essential to running deep learning algorithms. Here we have a slide showing an important area of AI known as intelligent video analytics. The same technology behind displaying the pixels on a screen can also be used to analyze those pixels on another screen or a video feed or, or, or a picture. Um, and this is an important edge solution for ruggedized systems overseas. And we'll discuss more about a use case around this a little bit later. Next slide, please. On this slide, we see intelligent video analytics being used for facial recognition. This technology is being used by local police departments to detect license plates and to see if registrations are up to date as they're driving down the road. With the right rugged eye system, you could also now have a soldier walking through a crowd doing intelligent video analytics for facial recognition to find people of interest. These types of solutions are saving lives overseas right now. And uh, I think we're just starting to scratch the surface, to be honest with you. Um, as time goes on, these solutions are going to get more and more advanced, and uh, we're going to see greater, greater uh, improvements in the accuracy and the capabilities for our soldiers overseas. As a National Guardsman and someone who's deployed overseas before, I am especially interested in these technologies and uh, really happy that I support this customer. Next slide. So here we have an, an, an image depicting, you know, a couple of CPUs um, in comparison with, with the GPU, with the V100. Um, the study that was done here is they used a deep learning algorithm in order to translate the entire German language in, into the English language and to see how long this AI algorithm took in, in order to do that. Now, with, with CPUs, and, and if you look them up, they're, they're on the higher end of the, of the CPU spectrum, it took 15 days. Um, with, with some old architectures of ours, it took 18 hours. 
And most recently with the V100, it took six hours. Now the V100 architecture is actually going to be going end of life this December. Everything is going to be going to the A100. I haven't seen this test done on the A100, but depending on what you're running, um, the A100 is two to eight times faster than the V100. So you can see that we're looking at the end of Moore's law for CPUs, and we're seeing the beginning of Huang's law for, uh, for, for GPUs as GPUs continuously get exponentially faster uh, year over year over year. Next slide. Um, so here we have a, a picture of, you know, some of the edge products that can be ruggedized by Sistel. Um, you know, we have our Jetson line, which is absolutely wonderful, great edge solutions. I'm actually hopefully going to get one of these, uh, one of these Jetson Nanos in every single soldier in the Army's hands one day, you know, with their uh, IFAS goggles. Um, from there, we get into, you know, some of the, the higher end GPUs. Uh, for design and visualization, great for, um, very important for edge deployments uh, in the intelligence space when you need high uh, graphical interspaces with um, different softwares like, like ArcGIS, where you're going to have a lot of um, need to see what's going on on a map uh, very quickly, and there's a lot of different overlays. And, and now, um, everything's in three-dimensional space and, and fourth dimension when you start to add in some of the um, electronic uh, radio frequency uh, implications of what's going on on, uh, in, on the battlefield nowadays. And then uh, we have our, our Ampere architecture. You know, when you start getting into the A100, the A40, um, you know, that's where the, the, the rubber really meets the pavement. We'll talk about a solution later that uses the A100, although the A100 is absolutely wonderful for, uh, for training the models um, that, that might go into uh, a Jetson or Quadro um, for, for inference later. Um, yeah, thanks, Anish. Hey, thanks, John. <clears throat> really, really incredible technology. And I am very excited to listen to uh, the rest of the presentations uh, here at GTC and, and learn more. Um, in discussing the challenges of computing at the edge, there are several key considerations I want to talk about in, in how Sistel collaborating with NVIDIA really helps solve these challenges. So first and foremost is ruggedization. Ensuring hardware is hardened to not only survive, but reliably perform in the harshest environments. So here we have a, uh, an outline of uh, various common military standards um, that Sistel uh, has to take into account when designing and qualifying hardware systems for environmental uh, and, and rugged build standards demanded by, by end users. Um, so these, uh, these standards cover things like operating and storage temperature, shock and vibration, altitude, humidity, sand and dust, rain and fluids, uh, ingress protection, explosive atmosphere, flammability, vehicle power, EMI, EMC, um, you know, all for ground-based airborne shipboard applications across, across all domains. Uh, so this is the, uh, these are the types of considerations that have to be accounted for when uh, deploying, effectively and successfully deploying uh, computing solutions at the edge. So as a, as a, a real world, more tangible example of this, we've got a chart here outlining the extensive environmental and rugged build standards that Sistel has brought to bear for one of our newer rugged embedded edge computers called KiteStrike. Uh, and KiteStrike integrates an NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier SOM. Uh, so you can see here the list of environmentals is extensive, uh, you know, matches, uh, you know, obviously with more detail with the list in the previous slide. Uh, one, one thing I wanted to touch on here we spoke briefly earlier about the challenges in thermal management. Uh, we've actually just uh, successfully recently tested Kite Strike up to plus 71 C operating temperature uh, with full uh, computing load. Um, and those are the types of uh, must have requirements for these newer edge AI uh, platforms. So I wanna further highlight four of the ruggedization areas for uh, successful edge deployed AI 
and certainly four areas that Systel focuses heavily on. Um, hardware suppliers, they have to account for all of these items, uh, and of course, many more. Engineering systems that can withstand rigorous shock and vibration across all three axes, is, it's all about experience. It's all about having a deep fundamental understanding of the conditions uh, and the system architecture. So it's knowing every component on every board, how it will react under heavy and sustained G-force loads, and then knowing how to securely, uh, effectively secure it within the system. Similarly, platform requirements often demand fully sealed embedded edge computers. So for the supplier, getting this right uh, can sometimes be viewed against manufacturing and uh, serviceability, upgradability type considerations. So maybe your chassis is comprised of multiple pieces for ease of servicing, for ease of upgrade, which is very important to customers uh, and, and for defense applications. So that's fine, but then in order to get, uh, uh, you know, and meet your fully sealed requirements, it's vital that uh, you have the right engineering and manufacturing uh, capabilities to get your gasketing or other sealing mechanisms uh, right. On the power EMI EMC side, uh, meeting wide input voltage ranges of various vehicles to the applicable mil uh, or DO standard, it's a, it's a very big consideration, as well as the overall power budget. So how are you achieving your power sequencing? How do you get this right in a system with, let's say, COTS commercial components that require heaters for sub-zero operating temperatures. These are the things that we really focus on and that we have to get right. Uh, and then of course, properly filtering that dirty vehicle input power and effectively shielding against electromagnetic interference and noise is uh, it's critical. You know, again, all of this comes back, uh, all of these considerations come back to ensuring, ensuring system reliability to support and enable the benefits and promise of AI in these mission critical applications. Uh, and so then finally here on the thermal management side, which we've touched on a couple of times now, I cannot stress enough how critical this is. And I actually have a, a dedicated slide to it to really stress how critical it is. The most significant item in AI embedded edge computing system design is accommodating for the power and heat demands of powerful electronics. Requirements for edge deployed AI capability complete with sensor fusion, software analytics, big data throughput, all of this in a rapid decision cycle call for very high wattage uh, processing power. AI and autonomous missions that rely on powerful edge computing demand reliability in extreme operating temperatures. So we routinely see requirements for uh, our systems to function at uh, minus 40 C and below up to plus 71 C and above. So consequently, Systel really spends a lot of time on this through analysis and validation efforts, utilizing advanced thermal management techniques to make sure our systems work. We design our systems for worst case scenarios, assuming 100% continuous operation at, uh, at the highest ambient temperature in closed cavity still air conditions. Designing for these worst case scenarios ensures reliability and uptime in any situation. So we've talked about some of the ruggedization considerations for edge deployed AI, and uh, I want to briefly touch on a couple of additional key considerations. So first is high density computing and converged infrastructure. Uh, converged infrastructure, it, it's a way of structuring a system, grouping multiple components into a single optimized computing package. Systel's computers are designed and purpose-built to reduce the demand on platform swap C by integrating multiple ISR ecosystem specific network, sensor systems, and computer technologies into a single LRU, small form factor rugged computer. Uh, this, is, this is really important um, you know, when you talk about edge deployed AI, reducing the size and complexity of, uh, of the historical tactical computing stack you know, into single LRU solutions is a must have, um, you know, design requirement uh, when you're talking about some of the swap challenges uh, of edge deployed AI. And this is a key factor in solving those challenges. 
Next, I want to talk about Open Systems and MOSA, uh, which stands for Modular Open Systems Approaches. I've heard it recently said that MOSA is the key to innovation. And there is, uh, without a doubt, a massive push and prioritization of modular open systems approaches ac across all the services. It's, uh, it's an imperative going forward and provides significant benefits in cost schedules, risk mitigation efforts, competition, innovation. So it's really vital to have these open architectures, uh, you know, focus on open standards uh, for interoperability, portability, and modularity. With, uh, with immediate future technology focus on AI, it's, it really becomes critical for defense programs to keep up with commercial technological advances by advancing capabilities that allow rapid adoption and rich upgrade paths of new technologies. And, and Systel is laser focused on all of these considerations we've talked about. Ruggedization, hyperconvergence, open systems, uh, you know, COTS technologies and roadmaps, not to mention the end user mission and problem sets, applications, environments, platform ecosystems and architectures. You know, fusing all of these various considerations and knowing the deployment um, environment and, and, and mission sets and problem sets, we strongly believe this complete picture view is the best way to ensure successfully supporting edge deployed AI with rugged edge computing solutions. So we'd like to conclude today by going through some example use cases, bringing together the various themes and concepts uh, we've discussed so far. These are based on actual customer solutions and deployments, but of course we will not be disclosing any sensitive information of any kind. One other note, the images displayed are intended to be representative only. So the first use case I wanna talk about um, is a multi-sensored combat vehicle integrating Systel's Ravenstrike or Hawkstrike uh, embedded edge systems with NVIDIA embedded or, or Quadro GPUs. Uh, you know, as an example, Systel's integrated Quadro RTX 5000 Turing GPUs in Ravenstrike. And as John mentioned previously, you know, that's gonna be moving forward towards uh, the new Ampere technology here shortly. Uh, so the workflow here, uh, the use case, it's, it's a system like Ravenstrike um, you know, acting as serving as a single LRU mission computer, ingesting various sensor streams and formats uh, on, on the vehicle. So this can be CoExpress, Camera Link, SDI, Analog, RS-170, GigiVision. Um, you know, any of these can be ingested. You run, uh, we run the processing and exploitation of these video streams, uh, hosting multiple AI and machine learning algorithms. All of that information is then disseminated either onboard the vehicle to local displays, uh, stored locally on the computer, or is sent over the network with high bandwidth, high speed internet. All of this capability I just described resides in a single LRU swap optimized, fully rugged system. You have to have all of those items to make this successfully work, um, you know, as we've been discussing during this presentation. So with Ravenstrike, Systel is taking COTS technologies and deploying them into extreme operating temperature conditions. The only way to do this successfully is, is with advanced thermal management techniques, because when you're taking COTS technologies um, and, and they, have to, uh, they have to run um, successfully in these wide temperature ranges, you're pushing the components past their limits uh, and you have to do so with high reliability, high MTBF, and, uh, and we do this through efficiently engineered uh, heating and cooling solutions within the system itself. Uh, another example I wanna talk about, another use case is an airborne ISR application with Systel's Kite Strike solution, which we looked at uh, a few slides ago briefly on the, uh, on the rugged standard side. So Kite Strike integrates the Jetson AGX uh, Xavier system on module the Xavier is a remarkable piece of AI technology and provides the best performance per watt um, on the market today. So Systel is able to integrate that, integrate that into a single LRU with sensor ingest, networking, storage, and robust IO capabilities 
And again, um, the system has to be fully rugged with advanced thermal management techniques to survive the environment. So this type of system additionally is ideal for extremely swap optimized space claims, as you may find in some airborne ISR applications, uh, really helping to push edge deployed AI to new frontiers. So uh, now I'd like to turn it over to John, who's going to be discussing um, a couple more use cases. John? Thank you, Vinesh. Those are, those are some really great use cases, and thank you for bringing those solutions uh, into the DoD. They're really amazing. Uh, thanks for the information. Uh, one of the other uh, really interesting use cases that we're working on right now, um, it has to deal with um, an edge use case where uh, the customer will need to process uh, radio frequency signals as, as they come in at the edge. And basically what has to happen is the, the information needs to come in. And for the first time ever, uh, because of the power of GPUs, we are able to monitor the entire radio frequency spectrum at the edge. This is a capability that, that was not able to be done before. And, and as slices of the radio frequency spectrum become smaller and smaller and smaller, as more people have cell phones and, and we have other sensors, IoT devices, everything that's coming with 5G, um, this is going to be uh, extremely important. So with the GPU, we're able to uh, pull down a tiny slice of, of, the, of that spectrum, process it, and, and even do speech detects and some other cool things um, at the edge. And, uh, and in the ruggedized servers um, that, that, that Systel provides. So that's a, a very interesting use case. And, and in fact, um, you know, it's uh, as 5G starts to take off, um, you're going to see a lot of GPUs in, in the 5G towers. Um, so there's uh, almost limitless possibilities now only enabled uh, through the processing power of, of the A100 GPU. Uh, next. Another interesting use case, you know, earlier we were talking about um, intelligent video analytics, uh, where we had the, the picture up of, of the crowd, um, you know, little boxes around everybody. Um, so, so the Department of Defense is going to be using uh, intelligent video analytics to help protect its force overseas. Uh, you're going to have a system of cameras that are going to um, look at uh, people, vehicles, you know, anything driving by. A, a, a dog, a donkey, you know, who knows what it is. But the, the video is going to have um, certain algorithms in it that are going to be able to detect um, if, if, if what it's seeing is a threat and then alert it to somebody. And this is going to save uh, hopefully tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of man hours, you know, across the area of operations and being able to do uh, reduced tower guards uh, and not having to maintain as much uh, as many human eyes um, in and in, in and around the bases overseas. So uh, really important mission there. Again, one that's going to you know save soldiers lives, one that's going to save the federal government money. Um, and it's only enabled uh, at the edge. Uh, this particular one uses a, a T4 card, the use case that I'm talking about right now, but it's not that it couldn't use other cards that are out there. Um, and uh, again, um, looking forward to Sisto bringing some of these uh, different uh, use cases into these, uh, you know, every single base in uh, overseas. Yeah. Uh, back over to you, Anish. Hey, thanks, John. So this concludes our presentation. We, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us for this GTC on demand session on Rugged AI. Uh, I want to thank you, John. R really appreciate um, you uh, you joining me for this. We're very, very excited for uh, Systel and NVIDIA uh, collaboration and partnership and taking that to to new heights to, uh, to really support the warfighter. John and I are both passionate about AI computing at the edge. Uh, you can reach out to us anytime with any questions. Uh, you can always visit Systel's website uh, listed here or email us at sales at systelusa.com. Thank you again, and we hope you have a wonderful GTC experience.